episode 21 of Daggerfall. At the end of the last episode, I got a note from Unsigned to go to Bubisi Data, I am pretty sure. And I should really check um, if it is indeed Bubisi Data. Think about or at least think about it, I wanted to say. Unfortunately, after the think about uh, sentence, well, part of sentence, my audio recording apparently cut out. As I do not want to re-record the whole episode, I would consider that cheating on the... No... What's it called? Hmm. No re-running dungeons and such of camera. And the video I have, I will instead <coughs> do post commentary. So, if I am interested uh, in learning the truth about Tarp, I am to meet him in Screaming Porcupine of Wubisidat. And I am also supposed to find the short shirt. Since the short shirt thing is timed and the Screaming Porcupine thing does not, I am inclined to instead to do the short shirt thing first but now I am looking where everything is that's the cavern of Melotausia that's where the short shirt is next where is which of the places Bubisidata I think it's on the island indeed it is and where is Sentinel itself the capital city of this state. Sentinel is at the tip of the peninsula. Now, okay, I shall travel to the cavern of Hemunatausia. But first, I wanted to check my stats, and I am pretty much fully healed except for stamina so I will travel recklessly and camp out now this is an interesting cavern because it's actually at least stump which looks almost like a path but only almost it's in fact petrified wood now it's a petrified stump with a door that's interesting. The door seems a bit off, but whatever. Let's enter. And close the game to lag, apparently. So, I have entered. There is flickering light. And I should really put down an anchor. Like that. Mark, recall. I also have a rant for this episode, which luckily I did not delete, as I no longer delete them. Oh, hello, Ark. I no longer delete them until I have edited the video. Exactly because there might be a failure in recording. I picked up his stuff. Now I'll go I'll throw them in, throw it in the wagon. So, the rent I have is from Arrow, Green Arrow. Um, Green Arrow is the episode name. It first part of the rent is not specifically from that episode, but <coughs> the show in general. Quentin Lance is the local chief of police. Laurel Lance is his daughter. She is also a prosecutor in the same district. That could cause some problems as it's um, perhaps accumulation of functions, perhaps uh, uh, a clash of interests of sorts. Basically, they are family and also work together, which could cause problems, but probably wouldn't be critical. 
problem. The real problem is that Laurelands is also a vigilante, and her father, the chief of police, knows it and does nothing about it. Which is really problematic. If it, this was found out, they would both be in a real lot of trouble. Especially with Quentin already having worked with uh, the arrow previously. And it could, even without being found out, it would lead to. It is likely to lead to injustice. Uh, because Laurel Lance beats people up as the Canary uh, has option to fabricate evidence against them and gives them to the police. Quentin Lance, her father, arrests them based on her word and then they are prosecuted by Laurel Lance, the same person who beat them up and gave them to the police. Of course, if a person being prosecuted recognized her, they, she would have trouble. Now there is another thing which I you know, was thinking about uh, vigilante shows in general. This one, but also stuff like... Uh, what is it called? Daredevil, that's from MCU. And, well, not Flash really, because he has superpowers. Basically, if a vigilante is a human, such as the Arrow, or Darede in the case of Daredevil, well, Daredevil, or, and Matt Murdock, his normal name is, they have a bit of trouble, because if they also have a day job, then they are basically working all the time and don't have time for sleep and such. But if they do not have a day job, then vigilantism doesn't pay. So what do they live from? Either way, it's questionable. It isn't as big deal with uh, if they are actually superheroes, like Superman, The Flash, because their superpowers may account for that somewhat. With the Flash, he can at least skip travel time, mostly. And also he doesn't... He's not on the job, at least on the vigilantism job, all the time. Only when it's needed. And with Superman, perhaps he doesn't need to sleep. It's a bit weird with Arrow, because he they don't have a day job, and yet... Uh, well, most of them don't, uh, and yet live uh, pretty well off, and are pretty well off, and uh, can afford expensive equipment. Do they uh, take all take money from Thea, who is owner of a nightclub? I guess that's some possibility. Or perhaps they are funded by Diggle's wife. Who Wait, no, she quit. Perhaps she works somewhere else. Oh, wait, no, Felicity funds them because that's a weird thing that happened in an episode. I think it's actually mentioned in the, in this episode, sort of, that Felicity is the CEO of Palmer Industries, which is weird because what happened to Ray Palmer? He was the CEO and did he disappear between seasons? Possibly. Perhaps he joined uh, Legends of Tomorrow, which I do not watch. <sighs> so, yeah. I guess she tunnels uh, Palmer Industries and funds vigilantes. Oh, I just found a magical tower shield, which I cannot carry because it's too heavy. So, I wonder what it does, but it's too heavy, so I first need to pick it up. How much does it even weigh? 15.5 kilos. Well, kilograms. So, now I have enough uh, capacity, and I should identify it. Items identified. 
The Tower Shield of Shocking. It's a regular iron tower shield, but when used, it casts Shock, which is equivalent spell to my Sparks, I'm pretty sure. Or perhaps it's also called Shock. Now, it didn't change my paper doll because I already had a tower shield, but yeah. Now oh, I can use Tower Shield of Shocking in items, which is still you from the last game. Okay. So continuing with the rant, a guy walks... Uh, th th this is from the episode itself. A guy walks into a city council meeting and announces himself to be the leader of the Ghost, the terrorist organization which terrorizes the city. The mayor wants to summon security on her, but the chief of police tells her to sit down. Yes, the chief of police, the guy who should be arresting this terrorist, at, or at least self-proclaimed terrorist. He just confessed among like six witnesses, including chief of police and the mayor. So, yeah. Well, later in the episode it turns out that uh, the chief of police Quentin Lance is obeying this guy, so this is why he did it, but that should have broken his cover on taking the bribes or whatever reason he has to follow a terrorist. Oh, a skeleton in a coffee. How normal. But that is uh, what I have for this episode, and I will leave the rent that I made this week for the next two episodes and for now let's continue with the well episode uh, 21 of Daggerfall where daggers fall from the sky in, as a rain of steel smashing through roofs of touched uh, roofed cottages and slaying the men and women and children and beasts is inside as the ghosts roam the city, screaming, VENGEANCE! That would be pretty, pretty terrible. But luckily it doesn't happen. Instead, uh, um, there are just roaming ghosts who scream vengeance and take revenge upon their subjects. Well, ex-subjects? How does that work? If you are king and die, do the people in the kingdom you ruled stay your subjects? That is assuming you can still affect them. If you can't, then obviously don't. But let's say you happen to be a ruler of some sort. You die and become a ghost. Uh, oh, event. I hope there won't be red stripping from me. Well, you become a ghost, and are the guys still le legally your subjects, or are they not and have no reason to obey your orders? I'd say they probably aren't your subjects anymore, because kingship is for life, and once you die you don't have your life anymore, instead you have undeath. Oh, I just tried to backstab a spider and failed, by the way. So I had to beat it up normally. Also, stabbing with a mace is usually not very good. And that's bad. That's a werebeast. That's a werebeast. Not sure whether wolf or a bar, that is were wolf or were bar, but it can infect me and if not cured, such infection would lead to... Um, well, it's called lycanthropy like either way, but it shouldn't. Terryanthropy. Basically, turning into, well, were wolf or werebore form. I don't yet know which this one is, but the game was lucky. Oh, it wasn't lucky anymore at this moment. So, 
I am pretty sure I need at least silver to beat Blair Beasts. But what is important is not to get infected. I shall try shocking this Blair Beast. But I have trouble, trouble with lag. And it was a werewolf. He died. Now we am I infected. I am healthy, which is good. But yes, every time a werebeer Werebeer That's weird. And not even werebear. Or, or every time a were beast strikes you, there is a chance that you become a well, that you get infected with that particular strain of Terryanthrop. Now I'll sh I shall look at uh, what the chance is. And I fight with this spider. So. Every time a werewolf and uh, every time a werewolf strikes you, there is 0.6% that is six in one thousand chance that I contract contract lycanthropy and will have to turn into a werewolf if I don't cure myself within three days. Um, and they can only be hit with silver or better weapon or with magic, obviously. But since I am wielding a Dwarven Mace, that won't be a problem. So as you have probably noticed, this dungeon is mostly populated by Orcs, Spiders, and there are some Werewolves. Well, there was so far one, but there will be more. I remember them. They have sniffed me. He what? Why is this... Oh no, I've been teleported from touching the skull. I remember that I pressed my um, interact button. It wasn't just randomly walking it. So it was safe from that regard, but it was unexpected because I remember in regular Daggerfall those brick walls were teleporters. Now I am checking the chains, but turns out none of them. Neither of them will teleport me. In the regular dagger fall, those brick walls were teleporters, but not so here. Instead, random floating skulls can be teleporters, I guess. Either way, I am pretty sure th those tokens weren't in regular dagger fall. Those blue tokens that mark the teleporters? Nope, I don't remember them from regular dagger fall. Now I was teleported into a torture room by the Chinga Skull. And I was unable to get teleported back. So let's try exploring and see if I can get out of here through walking. It should be possible. The orc that was here pretty hopefully wasn't trapped. Well, why am I even hoping he wasn't trapped? It wouldn't matter. But this door was locked, so he locked himself in. Interesting. Oh, a teleport wall. But it doesn't teleport me. I guess they changed this thing. So let's go on. Go down these hallways of doom. Which know how you will die. You will die of drowning. In ketchup, ketchup. One of these rooms with a door that doesn't unlock. I'll have to beat it down. <coughs> or let's o try opening it with. Uh, but it's, the lock is too powerful. Anyway. And I wasted a lot of magic doing it. At least I gained experience. I'm still healthy. I shall 
start blending. I will blend orcs into smoothies. Since it cost too much magicka to cast that spell, I shall instead beat the door up. Or smash it apart. At that end. But so was the room I teleported in, wasn't it? Which means this whole teleport place is a trap. And that had I not had an anchor set, I would have been trapped just as that orc was. He could not, not return to the regular places. He was stuck here for eternity. Luckily, I do have an anchor set, so I can just teleport back. I should just not forget to leave an anchor again once I teleport to this, to the ones I do have set, because if I do forget and get trapped in a similar situation, I cannot get back. But as you can see, having a teleport spell is mighty useful. So yeah, I'm checking whether it's really a trap. That door that you can see heading out is the brick wall, which didn't work. And the game is second lagging. I think I solved it this week, so hopefully it won't be happening next week again. And I'll teleport it back to the entrance. I should drop things into the wagon. Like the clothing, champion straps, black poppy, uh, not a letter of credit, perhaps my horse and my small cart, both put into the small cart, wait, that wouldn't be a good idea. Okay, I you will rest until fully healed, and then I will forget to put down the anchor. Yes, I forgot to put down the anchor, so when I... Inevitably try to teleport out. I will find that I cannot Which will be annoying luckily I can tell you that I will not get trapped And I'm going to left mm, some squarical logs from minecraft probably not from minecraft A door that does not unlock but there was a snap <coughs> of orc or of bear beast Apparently of orc so, I am looking at the orc's armor, and I am really hoping that what I can see on his chest is a chest plate painted green and not his breasts. Not because of modesty, but because having just pauldrons and... Uh, Greaves is not sufficient armor. If you don't have a breastplate, then really your protection is insufficient. Well, breastplate or a big shield, as an easy hit to the chest will get you. Now, of course, there can be armors that. I mean, the people can be fighting without armor, and that's still pretty bad, but at least they obviously don't have armor. But just wearing greaves and pauldrons is just clearly insufficient armor while still wearing some armor. Like, who cares if he, uh, someone cuts your arm when they have uh, stabbed you through the heart? And yes, they have greaves, they have bracers, they have helmets, at least helmets are useful, and they have pauldron. Uh, magical diamond? I should identify that. But for some reason I am not? Hmm, interesting. What was that noise? Oh, I can see an orc in the distance. I shall burn his ass! Or at least his butt, I don't see any donkey. Die of his butt being burned to ashes. 
Hello, sir. Are you the doctor? Of You have died and you had no treasures, but there are enemies nearby, so I should retreat, heal, and go explore some more. So, let's see if this thing is still recording. Yeah, good, it's still recording. So, what does this diamond do? It is of paralysis. When used, it casts Medusa's gaze. Which causes, hopefully, uh, targets to become paralyzed. Let's see it in action later. It's uh, marked as a crystal, not as marked. Because those titles for those items are below them, not above them. So let's see what's in this corridor. It appears that in this corridor is some bigness, some combness, and let's see a door. And behind a snarling orc with a scimitar! <coughs> 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 No, it's really a drill sword and a stuff. Now, apparently the orcs are wearing more armor than their... Uh, not texture. Sprite shows, but not by much. And uh, another bear beast, probably werewolf. Let's try shocking it. <laughs> uh, it keeps scratching me. <laughs> try paralyzing it. It may have worked, but then I killed it. Possibly it worked, and if it did, hooray. If it did not, hmm. By the way, I am pretty sure that Medusa's gaze is what the Medusa's in Arena used at me. I don't remember there being Medusa's in Daggerfall though. Perhaps they all died out after Jagarthorn fell? Into this repair. This repair. Hello, bear. <coughs> Stop lagging. It's annoying. <coughs> ah. When the bear attacks, uh, its uh, paws are ridiculously thin at some points. I don't want to be punching the ground with my mace. I want to be flocking the bear like that until it is dead. Hmm, water? What's there? I think I see a slaughterfish. It wants to slaughter me, but it cannot because I am too far away. Near a brazier, and I see a bear. But I cannot shoot it because I'm... And I really shouldn't have done that. I should have instead healed from the beginning because... Or not from the beginning. Without casting the spell because then my health and magicka would be roughly even rather than one being totally at zero. Well, not entirely at zero but close to zero. So I wonder if I can throw the bear into the water. I shall certainly endeavor to do so, but perhaps I will just kill it, like that. Now let's see doors. The doors of... Skeleton. At least Skeleton was what I just heard. Now behind door number 4332 is... Ada Dan. And no, I am not really counting doors, I am just assigning them random numbers. From the um, random number generator that is my brain. Because I indeed have a brain. It hasn't been stolen by a rogue Tmish who wanted to perform experiments on artificial intelligence. And, well, 
he would need a control group which would be natural intelligence. At least I hope I am intelligent. And I wasn't very paralyzed, he managed to attack me after I shot the spider. Huh! The spider doesn't know about me. I could use it to my advantage. But first I will save. I should never forget to save. And I will see you in episode 22. Goodbye.